Major Slack Attack. Boy, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Skyrim, Pure Critique build, and the Zero Armor playthrough. Here I am in the Drunken Huntsman. What are you doing in the Drunken Huntsman, Slack? Uh, I forget. <laughs> Anyways, let me just update everybody. Um, oh, I know what I'm doing here. I bought some bows. I bought the Glass Bow of Lightning and the Glass Bow of the Blaze. Now, don't forget, um, we don't have the option to recharge any enchanted weapons. So these are kind of like one-shot deals. Once the charge is used up, that's it. So I'm going to be saving these for um, dragons. Okay, so if anybody's going to ask, why aren't you using the Glass Bow of the Blaze or the Glass Bow, Bow of the Lightning? That's why. Saving them for dragons. Now, I want to make a big pocket potion, which can be made with blue dart wings and orange dart wing. Because we're going to be doing a little pickpocketing. We have some skill training purchase rates for this level. 78%. Okay. I'm not a big fan of pickpocketing though. Know? Not at all. I don't like skills that are based on chance. And I don't like the idea that no matter how high you level pickpocketing, you can never get a 100% chance to pickpocket someone. It just seems a little unfair to me. Okay, in Windtown, we're going to buy some pickpocketing skill training. Some fresh baked bread and <laughs> because it's cheap. Uh, I'd like it's to run a room, please. It's yours. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Enjoy your stay. And don't break... And don't break nothing, and let's just sleep till next morning. Nothing. Go find Silda. Silda, my dear. Another one. Up to no good, are we? I certainly am. I'll teach you. And I want you to teach me how to I'll be up to, to better no good. Okay, so this should take us up to 47. Now all you have to do is pickpocket someone to get an extra level. 46. Give me one more. And 47. There we go. Let's check it out. Should be just short of 48 gen, right up against the edge there. Okay, so let's get everybody in the market. Forming the dawn guard. Vampire now in practice runs, I've been going more, after her. To <laughs> Sorry about trashing you. I've been going after a gold sapphire ring relentlessly. I'm, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Gonna take one of these, and let's go invisible. And it's gonna do a quick save just to save time. And come on, give me that gold sapphire ring. There we go. Finally got it. Woohoo! Okay, we love the pickpocketing, and that's it. That's all I wanted to do. Um, I have a, a perk point. We're going to put this into dual savagery in the one-handed skill tree. There we go. Dual wielding power attacks do 50% bonus damage. I want one of those, please. Thank you very much. That's it. And we are off to see the Greybeards. We're going to take the shortcut up the mountain, which means going to White River Watch. And we'll ride around to the White Run, the White Run Stormcloak Camp, and just ride straight up the mountain. Right, Queenie? Yeah, cool. Alright, uh, whoop, can't wait. Because there's enemies around, no, there better not be a dragon. It's probably either uh, a predator behind me. Oh, here we go. What are you doing, Slack? <laughs> I'm trying to, trying to steer the horse with just the keyboard. So I was sipping my coffee. Okay. Back on the driver's seat. I'm gonna continue east. 
you can see that like that bare paw print icon on the compass that's the white run storm cloak camp that's where we're going here it is up ahead right here dragger okay from here you can ride straight up the mountain to a high rock cart it's a neat little shortcut using the magical powers of the Skyrim horse let's get behind this tent here And just go straight up this ravine here. Up the snowy mountainside. Giddy up, Queenie. Giddy up. Keep going here. Go past this tree. Go through this skinny kind of crevice here. And go straight towards the trees. Once you get to the trees, you're going to do a hard left at the top. You're going to find that big, wide open, snowy hillside. Basically, kind of like push. Let me just take that uh, marker off. There we go. Yeah, push kind of like almost due east as far as you can go. Like that. And you're going to turn over this way. Turn to the west. Find that rocky plateau. Get on the rocky plateau. Spam your jump button. Get up here. Come on, Quinny. Giddy up. Giddy up. Okay, there we go. And here, find this little shelf here. This is kind of tricky now. Oh, but I'll be there. Give me that. I need it. Right here. Over here. And we're almost at the top. Spam your jump button a bit. There you go. Shortcut the high rock car. Okay, and now I want door-to-door -door service there, Queenie. There we go. Okay, thank you very much. Wait here. Something I've recently discovered. You could shout at the uh, the graybeards right away to save time. Let's just do that. Where's our gear? Hey, buddy. There you go. So, yes, I'm Dragonborn. <laughs> so, I am Master Angir. Very good. Dragon, wind, guide you. Uh, listen, I want to talk. Let's get on with it. You have... When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability. That's to nice. Learn. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, I'm just bump skipping and what's known as bump skipping. You run into a somebody who's talking, in and it skips their dialogue to the next. Roll means balance. Okay, so he's about to teach me a word of power for unrelenting force. Let's just wait an hour. Exit. I'm with apologies. I'm just fast tracking this because we've all seen this like a bazillion times. The whole graveyard routine. Exit, and this should put the dragonborn spit up on the ground from uh, Einhearth. There we go. Now we can learn the word of power right away. Give it to me. There we go. Okay, what's next? As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding. All right. Do it to it. That's a good understanding. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, so a little bit of target practice. Shout! Unrelenting force is hooked up. Bring it on. Use your unrelenting force. Shout! Yep, I get it. Go ahead. Well done. Again. One more time. You learn quickly. Once more. 
Very good. Okay. Next. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. Okay. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Here we go. As soon as he says courtyard, you can go outside. You don't have to wait for him. And when we get outside, wait an hour. Let's put everybody in position. We will now see how you learn a complete. Master Bori will teach you wood. Which wood. Whirlwind. All right. Here we go. You must hear the word within yourself. Grave your farce on your shoes. Approach Master Bori and he will gift you his. That's some good gifting. Oh, strangely satisfying. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so we have to show off our new show, which is Whirlwind Sprint. Been waiting for this. Master Wolfgar. Yeah, we get it. Go ahead. Do it to it. Oh boy, okay. Stand next to me. Uh huh. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Before it closes, we got it. Your it? quick mastery of a new thumb is. Uh, no. You are now ready for. Retrieve the horn of your. That's it, and that's all we have to do. We are off to Ustengrav. Um, nearest location would be Movar's Lair. There we go. Quick and painless. Yeah, and as soon as each fast travel away, um, the other quest gets updated. Okay, you wait here, Queenie, because there's some danger up ahead. We're just going to hike on over to Ustengrav and get it on. Let's make sure I got my combat gear on. Highest token. Ring of Minor Archery. Yep, everything looks good. This should be number five. That's correct. Oh, Ebony Bow is number three. Looks good. Is the ebony bow poisoned? Yes, it is. I forget why, but no matter. Okay, any mud crabs want to get up in my face here? Because uh, I think my boy Catman Do is in the, in the mood for a little seafood. Okay, we're not going to deal with the mages outside, so let's just get our sneak on. There's a mic grab. I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. Give it up. Okay, let's get our sneak on. There's just and grab right there. Just sneak up on the right side here. Grab this death bell and go a little bit past it and then drop down in here. This should put us right in front of the front door. There, there we go. Here's your daddy. Okay, now right away, let's push on in. Should be a mage standing right there. He is. Let's see if we can nail him. That didn't kill him. Okay. The apprentice conjurer. These thralls of yours are slower than Argonians in a blizzard. 
Feel free to grab a paper. Our Golians are particularly I slow in a blizzard day. Hold it, hold still there, everybody. Hold still, labor. hold still. Come on, hold, hold up here. Oh, there we go. And there, there we go. And he's down. Now that's the one you want to take down. She's the head honcho. Once you take her down, all her minions will go down. And we got another poison in the bow here. Either hold still. No, don't. No, not yet. Not yet. Turn around. Turn around. Hold still. And gotcha. Somebody shooting at you, aren't they? Huh? Huh? Yeah. What? What's going on? Who did that? I got this arrow in my butt. Were you responsible? Who me? Yes, you. <laughs> That's your punishment. <laughs> Must have been nothing. What was that? Okay. Uh oh. Uh, this is not good. This is not good. We're about to get busted. Okay. Anybody there? I think she healed herself. Back off here, she's coming for us. She healed herself again. Boy, she's really going to town, raising up the dead there. Okay, we're getting tired of you. Hold up here, hold up, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, and gotcha. This should do it, and down you go. That was a little dog with it. Okay, we're not gonna loot. Looting for chumps. Let's just continue. <laughs> I know, I'm just kidding. If you want to loot, go ahead. No, but I'm not gonna loot. Here, this can get a little crazy. Um, depends on what's going on here. There's the mage. If there's an opening, I'm just going to sneak by with an invisibility potion. There is, so let's just take an invisibility potion. Try to sneak by. Uh oh, we can. Uh oh. Dang it. Wasted an invisibility potion. I'm still invisible. Amazing, but true. Um. Oh, here we go. Now we got an opening. <laughs> you see this, people? <laughs> Things are flying. <laughs> it's a hot time in the old town tonight. That's hilarious. Okay, in this next area, there's always a Drago that pops up there. There he is, right on cue. One shot him. Jump up here. Wait for the other guy to calm down and or see if he comes over. Nope, he's not going to come up. Hold up here. Hold up. Hold it. Hold it. What are you doing? This is not part of your regular routine. Go over there. There's nothing to see here. Move along. Here we go. Attaboy. Okay. Let's just sneak up behind this. Sneaky, 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 and... There you go. That was probably overkill, but... Okay, that's it. It should be clear. And into Ustengrab depths. Here we're gonna take a shortcut down to the bottom. Something I've uh, recently been working on here. We're right around here. Okay, that's the way to continue. We're just gonna go towards the this bowl. Wait, hold up here, hold up here, hold up here, hold up, hold up. You there. Get up. And down you go, okay. Find this kind of like this bowl here, and just to the the left of everybody do a quick save here. You can find, see right here, you can get kind of slide down. It may take a little bit of damage, I mean, no problem. And that's where we have to continue, but we want to get to... This is probably a waste of time, but let's do it anyways. Yeah, get to the um, Become Ethereal Word Wall. Because I don't think I'm going to get this shout. shout. But just in case, it's right there. Okay, 
Oh yeah, it's always the head honcho there. Steal him in. He's down. Yeah, what happened? King Daddio is Daddio. Alright. Can we just like whirlwind sprint over there? There, he did it. <laughs> Give it to me. Okay, so we have that word of power in case we want to use it later on. This should be clear. Looks good to me. Okay, let's continue. Save our stamina. Well, even just recharge it. There we go. Save the stamina. A little bit of a puzzle here. You got these three pillars. As soon as you start going through them, the gates up ahead will start opening. Basically, as you sprint towards these three pillars, as soon as the gates open, use your whirlwind sprint. And that should get you through. Okay, let's do it. Sprint. Gates open, whirlwind sprint. And we're through. Okay, and now we're into the fire trap area. Beyond this point, got a whole bunch of fire traps. Step on that stuff, and um, you set off the flames. Um, we can just go and sprint across here and into this area here. And here's where a whole bunch of frostbite spiders are. Just hang out right here and do some nice sneak attacks on these guys. Take care of these guys first. They won't do anything. Who's doing that? And get some. That's where we have to go right there. You got some webbing in the way. You can clear the webbing in advance by just shooting at it a few times. That's like if you want to like go straight there with, without killing the big bad spider that's up there, but we're gonna kill it. Um, let's see, what's the procedure for this? Uh, how about a little bit of invisibility? Yeah. Visibility and the power attack. Dual wielding power attack with the daggers. Um, how did I do this? Go across here. Oh yeah, then whirlwind sprint over there and then take an invisibility pushing. Okay, that's the plan. Let's do it. Invisibility potion. Yay, yay. Hot foot, hot foot. Okay, you can't see us even though we're not hidden. Yeah, that's right. Go down there and get burned. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> not the brightest bulb in the bunch. Oh, hold up here, hold up here. Okay, stand still. Stand still. And. Uh oh. I <laughs> got him, anyways. <laughs> Hey, get the sneak on. Okay. There we go. Amber three. Boom. And we made it. And got the mysterious note. Dragonborn, I need to speak with you urgently. Rent the attic room at the Sleeping Giant Inn in Riverwood, and I'll meet you, a friend. How intriguing, and that's that. Okay, we're gonna be coming back here um, later to activate that tomb to get a free dragon soul, but for now, let's just... Um... Thought you said you weren't gonna leech slack. Yeah, I know, I couldn't help myself. There's a glass war axe. That could actually be useful. That could be very useful. Let's take that. Okay. And that's it. It's a done deal. And there's still some... 
activity here because we left it all up and running. Um, two strategies for dealing with Ustengrab. The first one was to just blast through everything using invisibility potions. The other one was to kill everything to help level up archery. Um, I wonder if you can sneak up on this guy. Oh shit, there's one right there. Hold, hold up here, hold up here. It's getting a little suspicious here. Okay, great, they're both in the perfect position. This is great. <laughs> Dude, you see that? <laughs> Double trouble for the Draugr Scourges. Okay. No sweat. Okay, we're going to have to sneak out here because there's still mages over there that we left alive. Let's sneak up the stairs here. Uh-oh. Here come the authorities. Major Slack is kicking ass again. Can we wait? We can wait. That means we can fast travel back to Riverwood. Take me to the inn, Queenie. Uh oh. Okay, I know what you guys are all about. Alright, let's just get this over with. Um, I think this calls for a little bit of paralysis poison. First of all, let's get the daggers up and running. Let's just like, you know, ambush them. Enough of this. Okay, so we got two shots of paralysis. One for each of you. One for you. Yes, I'm Dragonborn. What of it? Boo-hoo. Yes, there's more than one Dragonborn. I don't even believe you're Dragonborn. Get one. And get some. There we go. Oh, this isn't going to do it. Okay. <laughs> the daggers are really... Um... Oh, man. He's got a flame astronaut. We are out of here. Okay, guards. Here, the guards are taking care of him. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Help them, Slack. No, I'm not. It's just, they're bound to get a bounty. I already did that. Been there, done that. So let, let them take care of it. <laughs> it's a pretty good fight, though. Let's do a quick save. Okay, one's down. Oh shit! Okay, the flame astronaut just blew. See down? Down you go. There we go. What's your story? Yeah, those cultish robes. Cultist robes, yeah, we'll take those. Sell those for a pretty penny. Okay, your turn. Down. 
And we got the cultist orders. Table this for a later date, but just for posterity. There we go. And the Dragonborn DLC has begun, but we're not gonna do that. Okay, so it's it's good. I was in Wait, I know you. All is in good order. All right, now let's rent the attic room. Hello, my lovely Yelpine. Been poking around. My favorite Buxamus Blades operative. Attic room, eh? Let me rent the attic room. Well, we don't have an attic room, but you can have the one on the left. Make All right. Yourself at home. So, so you're the Dragonborn. I've been I am indeed. So much about. I think you're looking for this. Yeah. What's up with that? Follow me. Okay. All right. Now, what follows is a rather lengthy dialogue with Delphine. It's pretty routine, but I always forget the exact choices to make to get through it quickly. So, um, I'm going to do that off camera. Basically, what happens is Delphine wants us to prove that we are indeed Dragonborn. So she wants us to go to a dragon burial site and take down a dragon and Ow. absorb his very soul right before her very eyes and prove that we are Dragonborn. So that's the longest front of it. All right, so that's a quick recap of this conversation here. Um, this is pretty routine, so I'm going to skip ahead. And um, that's going to be the subject of the next video, or rather what happens after that. After that is going to be the subject of the next video. I want to thank you all very much for watching. And if you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, stuff like that there. And I'll see you next time. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes. All right? Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.